Question 11 says, in the figure shown, what is the area of the shaded part? Now, the first thing you need to know uh, is that um, that's, it's a triangle. Now, let's call here um, A, let's call here B, and let's call here C. So, um, now, the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll calculate um, area of triangle. Um, we want to get triangle area of triangle A, B, and C. Now, notice this place is 4. Here is 3. Now, here it's not given. So, because of this sign here, you can see this sign here. So, because of this sign, that means here it's what? 4 cm. So, that means the total length of this triangle, it's what? That's um, 3 plus 4. That will give us what? 7 cm. So, our area of triangle ABC will be, remember your triangle is what? Half times base times height. So, it's going to be half times 7 times 4. And that's going to give us 2 here. 1 is 2. So, this is going to give us um, 14 um, cm squared. Now, for area of triangle, we are going to call here X. Triangle B, C, X is going to be half times 4 times 4. So this is 4. So 2 will cancel 1. 2 here is 2. So this is going to be what? 8 cm squared. Now, um, for us to now get the area of the shaded part, area of shaded part, of shaded, will be what? Um, area of it to be i'm sorry it will be area of triangle the bigger triangle which is um, a b c minus the smaller triangle which will be uh, minus area of triangle b c x so this is going to give us um, that's 14 minus 8, which will give us what? That will give us 6cm squared. So the correct answer here is um, A. So I'll mark my A. So the next question takes us to question 12, which says, The table shows the number of people who attended a trade fair in a certain year. Now, you can see the male adults, the female adults, and the children. Now, it says each adult paid 200 shillings and each child paid 150 shillings. How much more money was paid by the children than adults? Now, in order to solve this question, the first thing you need to do, um, we're trying to know how much more was paid by um, the children than adults. So let's get what the adults paid. Now remember, the adults, it's both the male and the female. So the first thing we're going to do here, it's um, we are going to sum up the total adults. So we'll do 793 plus um, 1064. And this is going to give us, um, this will be 7, this will be 5, carry 1, this will be 8. Now this is equal to total adults okay now recall that the adult paid what they paid 200 so it will be 1857 times 200 now that means if you multiply this it's going to give you 371 400 so adults paid a total of this now for the children the children paid three that's children will be 3059 multiplied by 150. Now, when you multiply this, you're going to get 458850. Now, notice the children paid higher than the adult. So the question says, how much more money was paid by the children than the adult? So we're going to subtract um, 458850. We're going to subtract um, 371400. Now this is going to give us, this is 0, this is 5. 8 minus 4 is going to give us um, 4. You put your comma, 8 minus 1, it's going to give us um, 7. 
and we'll have a um, fork angle you put one 15 minus 7 it's going to give us an 8 so so that's it our final answer that's it 7 450 shillings so the correct answer here it's um, a question 13 says what is the value of that now for us to solve this all we need to do is um, change this to an improper fraction this is going to be root 25 times 2 is going to give us um, 50 plus 14 that's um, 64 over 25 minus 2 over 5 or square now this is going to give us a um, square root of 64 it's 8 and um, square root of um, 25 is going to give us what 5 minus this will be 4 2 square is 4 and 5 square is 25 so we take our lcm this will be 25 25 into 5 it's 5 5 times 8 is going to give us 40 this will be minus 4 now this is going to give us um 36 over 25 now when you do change it to a proper fraction this is going to be um one whole number um one whole number remainder um 11 over 25 final answer so the correct answer here it's a um, c so question 14 says rose use 99 poles to fence around a circular garden the distance between one pole to the next pole was two meters what was the diameter of the garden now what i wanted to understand from here it's let's assume this is one pole let's say the pole were lying on the ground now this is another pole now this is another pole up to 99 now notice it said the distance between one pole to the next is two meters that means the length of the pole is actually two meters so that's the first thing we want to establish so having known that the length of the pole is two meters remember the pole formed what a circle so what we would do to get the length of the pole it's a um, total length of pole will be uh, that will be 99 multiplied by 2 this is going to give us 198 meters first now recall that the perimeter around a circle perimeter it's what 2 pi r so from here we are going to apply this which will be 2 times our pi it's um, 22 over 7 times our radius which is what we don't know is equal to uh, the perimeter which is um, 198 so from here when you cross multiply r will be 198 times 7 divided by 2 times 22 so um, dividing by 2 here it's 1 2 in 198 is going to give you us 99 11 here is going to give us 2 and 11 here is going to give us 9 so you have 9 times 7 divided by 2 and this is the same thing as uh, 9 times 7 will give us 63 divided by 2 so this is going to give us 31.5 meters now recall that this is your radius now to find your diameter remember this is your radius r so your diameter it's the length from here to here is your d therefore having established this that means diameter is what radius times 2 which will be 31.5 multiplied by 2 and when you do this you are going to get um, 63 meters so this is your final answer correct answer it's 63 meters